Alright, so having some noise issues with some recent upgrades. I got my uh, TBS Disco here. I've upgraded up to the uh, 400 kV motors with the 15 inch props and the 6S LiPo and all that. I also switched from uh, the regular 2.4 GH, 2.4 control length, 2.4 gigahertz to the uh, Immersion RC uh, 433 band. Yes, I have my ham license. I'm legal. Um, and I switched from the 5.8 gigahertz video to the most people call it 1.3, it's 1.2 video, uh, 1.2 gigahertz, 12. 58 or 1280 megahertz anyway got a lot of noise a bunch of the horizontal lines and stuff on the um on the video real bad i mean it's fine when you're sitting on the ground you power up the motor and uh it's it's bad uh it's it's unflyable really and you give it any kind of real power input i mean you ain't even drawing much power with this setup it's pretty nice setup but the video is just atrocious, terrible, and I've been filtering the power and all that. I, I pulled it off. I got in there. I got the TBS cord. I've had this for a while, so you probably can't see it. It's a mess, but I got the TBS core in there, and uh, I was using it to power the camera and uh, all. And on the 58, it was fine, but since I switched to this terrible video so I, I can't appreciate any long range you know we're flying low through the woods or anything or trees you know it's because i just the video is unflyable and i've been working on filtering i switched i pulled it off the tbs core and and put a s back i stuck in there and another just a separate vec with a filtering circuit in there and the toroid ferrite rings or whatever yeah, I could have done better, but just trying. I even tried wrapping the wires in aluminum foil and, you know, making sure they're opposite side of the carbon fiber booms. And I was thinking it was all in the power, but I'm not so sure anymore. I got my DSO 138 I made a little while back. I'm kind of a, n a novice at the oscilloscopes, but I figured, hey, this would be a perfect chance. So I checked the power wires while running the, the motors, it seems fine. Well, I stuck it to the video line. Well, I traced it from, you know, the very end. I started here. I got a little piece of copper wire. I was able to, a single strand I pulled off of a multi-strand wire and got into this little itty bitty connector. Lots of noise on the video line. Followed it back. Checked it coming out. Uh, coming out. Here at the OSD, lots of noise. Well, checking going in. All right, well, this is the way, if you're familiar with this, it comes from the camera. You got the little wire, it powers up, comes from the core, goes into the, the frame itself, and then runs across the board. So this is, without tearing it apart, as close to directly off the camera as I can possibly get right here. And... I know you've been inactive and anyway that's as close as I can get to coming straight off the camera uh, f as far as the video without tearing it apart so I'm beginning to suspect that this core might not be filtering it out as good as it could the TBS core in there it worked great on others. It may work great on 2.4. See, I got this. It's I did the test set up and I had it perfect, but I don't know. Since I looked it up here, standby, it's got that dip. Might not have it quite set perfect, but let's arm the motors and see what happens. It gets pretty noisy, and as you can see, the more throttle you give it, the worse it gets. So let's try some filtering options and see what we get from there. See if this cures my problem. And hopefully this may help someone else out there. We shall see. Alright, so earlier in the video I was showing the oscilloscope hooked to my flight cam. Uh, it was hooked to directly to the video outline on the camera. And um, it was late at night on Lost Land. The big dip most likely due to the 
video out feed. But anyway, you can see the noise was at least a one to nearly two volt ripple. And if 12 volts, that's a pretty big ripple. So we definitely need to get a noise filter there. I'm not really going to go into detail or show how to DIY build a noise filter. If uh, you want that, I'll put a link in this, or try to put a link in the description. Um, but look up uh, Bruce with RC Model Reviews. He does, uh, it's an older video of his, I believe. Uh, he, he does a great job of showing how to build one and explain it, you know, you know, in in person showing the components and using his far more advanced oscilloscope and even does a whiteboard with the schematic and all that. But if you, or you can just Google DIY FPV noise filter, his video will probably show up. In fact, I'm about guarantee it. But it's Bruce and he owns a channel called RC Model Reviews as one of his channels. Um, so I'm just going to cobblestone one together out of some scrap parts and see what I can do. But I was just showing a way, trying to show a way to help maybe look for noise if you're having video problems, if you think, you know, I'm going from a 6 cell, 6S LiPo down to 12 volts through an SBEC and I'm still getting noise. So, you know, just because you're running it through an SBEC, and I tried two different ones, um, just because it's going through an SBEC dropping your voltage doesn't mean you're always going to get it filtered out. I'll also say the previous experience with like the 5.8 stuff, um, I didn't notice this problem when I ran, back when I still ran uh, the Immersion RC's 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. The camera was still powered the same and I didn't, you know, I just changed the transmitter to uh, a different one to 1.2 gigs and that's when this noise started coming in. I used, you know, both the, the same aspects the, for, off the TBS core, and in fact, I ran three cell with the 5.8 and then six cell, and it still didn't do a problem, have a problem with the 5.8. It wasn't until I went to the 1.2 in a different brand. So I'm going to say Immersion RC has some excellent filtering in their power and their video feed and transmissions so top notch on them um, because I never experienced any of these issues I said tell switching frequencies and just because I'm, I guess I'm hard headed enough and I want to run 1.2 gigahertz that way uh, I can go through trees and drop down and fly behind stuff a little bit better and still maintain signal that 5.8 is isn't isn't quite working. I mean, I can kind of work with it, but I, I want to push it a little harder. Um, but if you're just starting out with FPV, I highly recommend 5.8 and the Immersion RC stuff. I hope this video helps. Y'all have a great day.